Asylum seekers from the southern border as they get off the bus at Port Authority bus terminal just about an hour ago. The pandemic era federal policy, Title 42, ended at midnight. But now city officials are running out of spots to house them. So that's the big conversation, right? Pixelon's Kieran Dillon can follow this very closely. She's joining us now with the very latest. Kieran. Hi, good morning, Dan and Hazel. Well, in addition to today's bus, we're expecting more buses tomorrow and really indefinitely because, as you said there, Title 42 expired last night at midnight. It allowed border agents to turn away migrants on the grounds of public health. But now that the policy has expired, the city and state are expecting an even bigger influx of migrants to arrive here, more than we've seen in the last year, if you can believe that. But officials are now desperately searching for spots to house them, saying shelters are at capacity. The question is where to house the migrants. The city is now scrambling to find space and says it's reached its shelter limit. The mayor has temporarily suspended the city's right to shelter law as a result. It's a decades-old policy which requires providing a bed to anyone who requests it. Some agree with the move and others do not. This is a hard decision but it's, it's the right decision. We get an average of 500 people a day. We could potentially get thousands of people a day in our city. We don't need to roll back the right to shelter, and we shouldn't. And doing it preemptively before we're really clear how many people are actually coming, I do think is, is premature. The city is also dealing with resistance from county executives in Rockland and Orange counties. The city is asking hundreds of migrants to voluntarily move upstate. A judge granted Rockland County a restraining order Thursday, stopping 340 migrants from being bused to a hotel in Orangeburg. But a bus of dozens of single men arrived in Newburgh yesterday. This, even though Orange County Executive Stephen Newhouse has said he was promised by the state and the city that buses were not coming for now. He says the county is not prepared or equipped to deal with the migrants. We're paying for it. We're only taking volunteers. We are communicating with uh, the officials up there on what we're doing. So as it has for the last year, the city is asking the federal government, really demanding the federal government step up immediately. In the meantime, though, we've learned that Washington is bringing back Title VIII. That's a policy that requires migrants try to seek asylum in the countries they pass through before they enter the United States. So a lot of layers here. You guys are going to keep watching this story. Send back to you. All right, Karen. Thank you. Thank you.